Oh, welcome back. First stop on the highway. Damn, that wasn't fun. Holy. Say that was totaled. All right, we're off the highway. Sheesh. I don't miss that rat race one bit. I know that. But we'll see what's out here. I'm probably going to regret grabbing them bikes first, but that was the first thing I seen, so. As you can see, we're driving to S10, burning that gas, V6. Is this guy scrapping too? You see him just whip around? I don't know what he's doing. He's got a lot of steam coming out of his exhaust, so he probably just forgot something at home. But, uh, alright, so the last few days that I've been starting the donkey, it sounded like it's had a weak battery. I figured the battery was just junk because, yeah, there's his house there. Uh, I figured the battery was just junk because I got it from the scrapyard. It is an Odyssey, but, you know, I figured, ah, eh, maybe it was going bad. So, last few times, it was, like, really hard. Not hard to start, but, you know, it was just turning over slow like it had a dead battery. So, yesterday, I get in it, I go to start it, and it's, like, legit. Oh, here's an umbrella. Should we grab it? I guess so. So... It fires up, so I drove it all day. And you know, I don't shut it off because if you shut it off, it, you know, taps like crazy. So I'll just leave it running like all day, right? <laughs> all right, so. So we got it going and I had it running. Uh, I'm not gonna mess with that tape. That thing will be all over the place. Ain't worth it. Got it running, used it yesterday, you know, went to trash picking, went to tractor supply, left it running. So I get home, I shut it off in the driveway, and I, you know, do whatever, sprayed the weeds and this, this that, and the other thing, and then I go back to start it, and it started up, but just barely, I mean barely, like super slow, right? Drove it down to the end of the driveway, shut it off, and I'm like, well, if the battery's dead, I'll jump it. So I go to start it again, it won't start. It's just clicking. Click, 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 click. So I'm like, all right, let me go get my voltmeter. Tested the battery. The battery's chilling at like almost 13 volts, so I know it's not that. <laughs> so uh, apparently the starter went. <laughs> so it ain't the motor that took it out. It ain't the transmission that took it out. It's the starter. <laughs> so... I don't know. I have a spare one. It's in the other truck that's down back. I'm probably going to take it out of the other truck and put it in that one. Just because I really want to run that truck until the transmission dies completely. And I have a feeling it's going to go forward for a while. You know, I got no reverse, but I don't know. I guess we'll put another band-aid on it. I got a reman starter in the parts truck down back for a four-cylinder. So I gotta pull that out. The only thing is that's a that's a four-wheel drive one, so it's a lot easier to get that starter out than the two-wheel drive one. But we got a couple things here. A chair and these oh man, those things look like I think I'm gonna leave that cage because that looks like it takes up way too much room. 
and it's helium steel, right? Yeah, so I'm gonna take that starter out of the park truck and probably put it in the donkey just to get a couple more weeks out of it, I think. So that's the plan. I don't know if I'll get a hold of that. I don't know if I'll get that done today or not, but it's kind of wet out there and parts trucks out in the edge of the woods, so. And the donkey's in the middle of the driveway, so. <laughs> you know, if I can get somebody to hold the start, get my grandmother to hold it in the crank and I hit it with a hit it with something maybe I can get it going one last time if I can get it started one last time I'll just take the starter out of the other one and go to the shop do it over there but let's see oh, the squirrels are here hitting that smearing off another day in the life we can't let it die yet I know that I want to get as much out of that truck as I possibly can it's nice having three trucks too because <laughs> you know all the stuff still still stacked in the manual Nissan from the flea market I got it under the carport so it don't get wet but worst case scenario we'll be doing a steering box I guess I'll just have to unload my truck every week so I got two trucks more work right? but we'll drive around see what we can find Make a couple dollars for the day. There's a lot of stuff out here today. That's for sure. I wanted to try to go to the other neighborhood too, but I don't even know if that's going to happen. This neighborhood produces so much stuff. You know, that's why I like having multiple trucks because I can just go home, park this one, jump in the other one. Ooh, that's on the window. I'm going to listen to you all day. You know. Really need a small trailer. And that other one would have needed work anyway. There was no floor in it. The rusty one. The tires were wasted. You know, I would have had to put tires on it. Put a floor in it. Put a tag on it. There's no title. I really need a trailer with a title. That way I can get another tag. Because... The New York tag is my buddy's tag. It's not even mine. That looks like a tool holder. Um, it's one of the short ones. I guess we'll leave it. It's all right. All right. I guess we'll come back and find something really good. Plastic wheelbarrow. This coaxial, yeah. It's got any propane in it? Empty. Believe it. Yeah. I've seen no other scrappers out here yet, but. They will be around. We're out kind of early though. I got out at like 6 30 this morning, so because I wanted to go to that other town too. We will see if that happens. That's a cool one. heavy and sooty this damn thing vibrating in the damn window traffic out the ass Ugh. hurry up and get to work people <laughs> hopefully it's brass we're getting dirty today
Oh yeah, it is. Scores. Nothing good. Where's the look though, huh? Picked up a uh, screen door to aluminum. You gotta watch out, a lot of them are steel now, but not in this neighborhood, right? It's pretty much a given that it, that one's aluminum, but I did test it. You can tell by looking at it too, once you do it enough. There's a shop vac up here, I'm just gonna snag the top off of it. I got the top off another shop vac, I don't think I recorded it this morning. There's an old nasty beanbag chair there, too. I love how people just suck up mice nest with them and then just throw them right out in the trash. I know, you could sell it. I'm going to sell it right to the scrapyard. I got one at the farm now. I need to test and make sure it works. I'll try to sell it. These houses are crazy over here. That's for sure. I went past one earlier. I was going to record it. He's got a giant uh, carousel horse in the front window. Like a, like a legit one. Crazy. It's like a plant stand, but... What is that? Is this steel? Yeah. I have to say, it's rusty, but super light. All right, let me put it in there. There's like a canopy topper here, like one of those seats. Oh, it's aluminum too. All right. Spores. Doesn't really look promising over here, but... Couple beer cans, that's about it. Well, we're gonna take this load over to the scrapyard right now, unload some light iron out of this pile, and then head over to the other town. We should be able to get there by like 8.45. See if we beat the guys over there. I haven't been over there in a while, haven't been able to get over there. You're right, King. Every time you don't have the camera going, something really interesting happens. I just found a grill. I don't know if you can see it, the aluminum one there. All right. So I'm out in the driveway and I pushed it out to the truck and I'm standing at the back of the truck ready to flip it in there. And the guy opens the window and says, 
I hear him yell something and I'm like, what? And he, he goes, take the wife too. I'm like, what? I was like, nah, I'm good. Oh, uh, it was funny. I should have had the camera going. Oh well. Oh, there's some there's some rails there. We'll go grab them. Hold on. Doesn't seem like there's too much out here, but there is some metal, so I don't think anybody's really been through here yet. These dog beds. Probably sell. That looked like some aluminum sticking by that trash can, though. All right, let me grab that. I'll come back. Ooh, that's a dusty one. sometimes with those bad boys. chairs, two over there and two up here, folding chairs, steel, ooh, what's that, it looks like a sub pump, I guess we'll go grab that too, wow, we're still recording. The cord cutter was here, why didn't you take the rest of it, bud? Slacking. Where are you at, cord cutter? Are you thinking to the right? 
This one yeah, might yeah, actually yeah. be for this, though. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, it is. All right. Crack down the bottom. <sighs> we'll leave it. Yeah, it's missing a handle. I guess that one's scrap. All right, we went back. Got the uh, got the dryer. It's actually a front load whirlpool. There's also this dishwasher here. It's a stainless one. So I'm gonna try to plop it up in there somewhere. It's probably gonna end up breaking that glass on that lamp. We even still got room in the front. I don't think we're gonna find any more though. That's the end. We got a little little section over on the other side of the lake. We'll go check out and we'll head back. Head back to the firm. Oh, we're back. Get this stuff unloaded. Probably going to take a bunch of stuff apart today because me and Fred are going to take a load in tomorrow, I think. So I got some push mowers I got to take motors off of and electric motors I can take apart and all kinds of stuff. Take some wiring out of this bad boy here. It's crazy how these things just die, man. You know, back in the day you had washers and dryers that lasted 10, 15 years. Now you're lucky you get five out of them. Planned obsolescence, right? Uh oh, we're caught. There we go. Obsolete now, right? Well, change of plans as usual, right? We got the truck emptied. Processed some stuff, computers and a couple electric motors. But apparently Justin won a uh, storage locker in Philly. So I guess we'll go take a ride in the diesel. See what he got. See if there's anything cool in there we can swipe. Yeah! <laughs> All right. We will be back. Never ending story, right? <laughs> oh man, all fancy. Sheesh. That six seven life. Oh, what is it? Three fifteen a gallon now. Oy vey. Oh shit. What the hell? The damn bolt's loose. <laughs> Figures. Bert gets in it. First thing he finds is something wrong. <laughs> I can't believe this thing don't have a 110 outlet in it, though. I've seen some of them that do. It's got trailer brakes, though. And uh, engine brake built in from the factory, so that's cool. Yeah. Tow haul button. Mm -hmm. At least it's cloth seats, too. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of leather. Oh, we got a title. <laughs> All right. Hashtag small truck life. Yeah, oh, that bitch is clean. <laughs> right? Holy. Oh,
fog. <laughs> right, all the pollution. Yeah. <laughs> Continue on to Betsy Ross Bridge. Jeez. The city. Oh man, Bert don't belong over here. All right. <laughs> Destination is on your right. That is a cool building. Mm -hmm. That's what I want right there, Justin. Yeah. Buy me that. Dude, you're sick. Buy me that. Right. <laughs> We've got the air on. Ah, uh, I think I don't know. Yeah, they got this shit tight. Look at this pole. Oh wait. Okay. Okay, uh, I got you. Yeah, I think it's small anyway, right? Oh, he's got to unlock it. Huh? Yeah, he's got to own it. Oh, okay. Yeah, pretty sweet. Coal, coal tower right there. Belching, right? <laughs> cool. Appreciate it, brother. Let's keep the alarm when you're ready to get out. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Little guy, right? Oh, there's some nails. Ooh, that's dusty. Oh, look. The infamous Christmas decorations. <laughs> Go figure. Every storage auction's got Christmas there. Yeah, 30, 40 bucks. A router? Yeah. It's maybe. a router, yeah. 30, 40 bucks. Maybe, yeah, probably. Some of those bits are just that. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, yeah I know. Yeah. I have some already. Oh, oh. another drop off. What's in here? Christmas decorations. Yes. This is, yeah. I can tell by just by feeling it. I already know uh, by feel it is. Yeah. Oh, there's an easy up in, or a, a tent. There's a tent in here, yeah. Old tent. Well, I, I know this is at least 50, 60 bucks. Yeah. You know what I mean? Scaffolding, yeah. I know that light will sell for $8. Probably. So. This nail gun. Oh, it's a rigid one. Don't we, didn't we? Though. Yeah, yeah. I didn't Don't still... we have some rigid batteries somewhere? That's cool that I have, uh, that's cool that I got these two covers. I can put two. What's this? Kitchen, Tupperware, etc. Yeah, yeah, on the tables, yeah. Well, that's what's in there. there there's food in every locker, too, right? Yeah,
It's all in there though. Knife on you? It's all in there, yeah. It says split that open, no, Justin says. Like, it must be like some kind of pool liner maybe. Not pool liner, but like it might be. Fabric. It might be, yeah. I'm gonna try to get 150 back on this locker. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah, it's something like that. Oh, that's what that is. It's a pool. Oh yeah. It's a pool. The whole pool's Sweet. in the whole pool's in here, the huh? Kids are gonna love that. It's never even been used. Yeah, right? that's how much are pools new? I don't even know. Those yeah, I mean, you can probably small get ones. One. You can probably get one for like 300 bucks. So I don't know. It's up in the oh, air. I might, I might just keep this one. Filters, filters for the pool? I might just keep this one. Yeah. Filters for the pool? Oh, I can use. Yeah, the whole pool has not used. They didn't, wrap that, they didn't wrap that thing back up and put it in a box. That's worth it right there. That's worth it right there, man. Hey, look at this. They even packed it for you. Look. Look, they even packed the pool for you. It comes with a free skimmer pool. Yeah, I was going to see if there was anything else in there. There might be. Uh, we'll just put it in the truck, though. Yeah, we got to slide it over. You got to get it in the front, though. There it is. Yeah. I definitely yeah, climb up there. I'll hand it to you. Tyvek, uh, they're Tyvek booties, probably used when they were moving, and some mice chewing on them. Chrome plated blast beer faucet, some regulators, torn apart regulators and a beer faucet. What's this? Mini hockey stick and ball set, just the balls. Anything good in there? Hockey pucks, some uh, electrical connectors and washers, and other sports, yes. Some knee pads or something. Wanna, that's a Jet Flow 120. It's a fan for a computer that somebody was building, but it's not even in there. There's some wire. Box. This looks like a hobby box. Oh, ABS project box. Yeah, it's a hobby box. Here's another jet flow fan. Is it in there? Yeah, this one feels like it might be. I don't know what they're wearing. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't box, know what probably. they are. Oh, that's not a bad thing. Oh, that's a good one. What do we got here? Black and Decker. Uh, Sander? Yeah, 540 old, old type. Oh, this Bondo is probably no good. Tile spacers, that'll sell. Somebody needs them. Face mask, that'll probably sell if the elastic isn't messed up. We could clean this up a little bit. It seems like the elastic's alright. That'll probably sell too because it works. Mineral spirits. This is like a painting. Oh, cool. Good Drop stuff off. right here, man. Look, this more Christmas decorations. Yay, Christmas! Buy a little, it'll sell. What do we got here? Makita? Makita? Oh, a planer. Nice. You might have to fix a plug on it, though. That's a nice, that's a nice wood planer. Wood planer. Wood planer. Whoops. Good thing it's in a box. This can all go There inside. you go. A biscuit joiner. There you go. This is good. You're gonna have to look this up. Yeah. Yeah. This. this I don't. I mean, it's probably not super expensive, but I bet you it's over a hundred dollars. No, easy. Probably like one fifty for this tool. I bet. I'm not huge into the woodworking stuff, but. What is this? Exhaust fan? I do know what it is. Oh no, it's uh, plastic. Or, or Justin, you keep this. And this goes in the arsenal for fixing God knows how many pieces of furniture. One day, right? Yeah, right? <laughs> to put the legs back on them or something so you can sell them. Either or, man. This one's a Dremel. It's in there, too. Well, that's good. At least everything's in this stuff, Justin. It's all in it? Good, yeah. man. It's good. It's got the bits. It's got oh, also the flea market. Yep. It's got the router attached. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Whoa. Shoot. One of them. 
There you go, pipe cutter. Nice. Yeah, that's nice. And we got some crap out of the deal. Plate cutters are good money at the flea market, man. Which one? I sold, uh, I sold all mine already. Yeah, but that's what you do. Oh, look, a hoe. <laughs> we got the hoe. Alright. <laughs> 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 Probably gonna need that broom to sweep it out. Oh, y'all be looking for tools and stuff like that? Tools is where it's at, yeah. Tools is definitely where it's at. Alright, listen. For me, 498. What happened? 498. Yeah. All right. You don't you don't bother when you work here? Yeah. yeah. You don't bother bidding on nothing? You're not allowed to. You're not allowed to bid. No. That doesn't work. Oh. Is that all cube smart stuff? Yeah, you're screwed, right? So. Oh, you can get your buddy to do it. Oh, they? Believe it or not. Yeah. What? You don't want to bother? No. <laughs> the average owner probably don't even have the, the money to do it the way how they film. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, you've got to set that in there better, Justin. I don't like your cutting skills. Fine, dude. Yeah, so it blows out on the freaking Betsy Ross. That is, <laughs> that is definitely not going to blow out. You lift it over the side of your new truck. <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> Alright, we got more pool stuff. You even got chemicals. Oh man, I don't miss that smell at all. That's chlorine. This shit sucks. I don't want to deal with this shit. Man. Whatever, you gotta take it. We'll throw oh, it out some later. of them Christmas. Man, don't open this crate, boy. You about to fall out. It's that bad, huh? It's like Walter White oh, coming out God, of there. Oh my God, I can smell it already. <laughs> right? I can smell it already. Yeah. Something dropped on your head. Christmas decorations. Go figure. Yep. All right, we're loaded up. Guess we're going to just throw this in the other unit. Is that the plan for now, or uh, can put the I'll tools? Just put it right to the box truck. All right. Get rid of this shit. I can okay. probably donate the. We can probably Christmas stop stuff. The goodwill yeah. and drop it right off it. Yeah. Goodwill. Well, there's Christmas lights in there, so we can take them for scrap. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And you get back from the concrete jungle and you realize how nice it really is, right? I can hear the bees flying around. No street bikes zipping by. <laughs> Dirty old mattresses to stare at. <laughs> uh, the dream, right? Look, one day, one day, one day I haven't been driving you and you're already taking it over. Gosh, get off of there. All right, he's not. He's got to close the store, so he ain't going to be around till probably ten o'clock tonight. So we pretty much seen what was in there. A little bit of something. He should get his money back. I think he, I think he got it for like a hundred or hundred and fifty, something like that. It wasn't a lot, but I'm just going to spend the rest of the day tearing some motors and stuff apart, and some air conditioners, and I got some stuff over here I got to transfer and take apart this heater I got stuff up front stuff over there stuff over there all right try to make a load for Fred tomorrow so we can go all right well that's it for today I guess we'll sign off here thanks for watching comment rate subscribe see you on the next one Probably gonna plant these cucumbers too because they gotta get out of here. Yep. Even had a battery in it. Score! Charged it up last night. Seems like it works.
Oh yeah.